Hey guys, it's your boy Capers, and welcome to my review for episode 18 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship and Magic Buckball Season. When I first heard the uh, synopsis for this episode, I was like, could be interesting. And I was right, it was very interesting. Um. And so far, I've only heard one reviewer's video on it, and that reviewer focused mostly on snails as part of the episode. But to snails, I say, fuck off. Seriously, any of you more credit than that. Um, while I admit it was pretty impressive that he was pretty good at magic, which was weird, just randomly, I mean, maybe he learned some things from Trixie when he was serving as her, her servant and helping her, her fuck over Twilight and the rest of the main six, you know, remember that, and releasing an arson minor, so yeah, let, let, don't, don't forget that shit head, head, head too quickly. I'm never gonna forget that shit. One, one, okay performance. And in an episode that wasn't even about him. The episode stars were Fluttershy and, and Pinkie Pie. He Miss Underlitman. Mm, she'll never say this video, but I implore you to take a bow. Just randomly. It's just. Imagine if she just did this. And her family, they're like. Why did you just bow? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But she was the MVP of this. Uh, in Flourish. Pinky where the he, uh, stars in this episode. I was really disappointed in how they... I mean... Mostly... From most of the episode... Would Applejack and Rainbow were, were okay? But... As soon as they started piling on the pressure, I was like, no, do not do this again. You don't need a conflict in every episode. Just, I mean, you could have, I mean, they could have Fluttershy be a bit nervous about performing again. And then, you know, though, well, that would be being a dead head for a horse. As the cliche goes, I would prefer to see that than see he pretty much Applejack and Rainbow became the villains halfway through this episode, and then just you know, sort of like, you know, oh wait, what were we doing? <laughs> so why, why you don't? I mean, I get that they want to teach a lesson to the kids that watch the show. In every episode. But, you know, the episode's lesson could have been teamwork or something like that. Not, don't pile pressure on your end. Because we've already got that, you've already done that lesson in Hasbro. Yeah. Hurricane Flutter Shy. You've already done this, his lesson. Wait. Dash and Fluttershy. Pretty much. It's pretty much the same, only you add, took away Hila Pegasi and you added Pinky and Applejack. It's pretty much the same. Why? 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 And if, I, don't, I don't know. Why? Seriously. Make the lesson about teamwork. Forget the whole Applejack and Rainbow Dash piling the pressure on. Maybe Fluttershy can get a bit nervous. And that nervous affects Pinkie Pie. And, and Applejack and Rainbow can work on helping Fluttershy and Pinkie get back begin to wind the play again like they do right before the end of the episode. If you can have Rainbow and Applejack could tell Pinkie Pie that everyone would be happy 
Pinky if if she plays. Then she's guaranteed to play because Pinkie Pie's whole deal is to put smiles on the faces if if she's told that play if she plays, these these people will be happy. Po ponies. I don't know why I said people. If she's told ponies will be happy if she plays, problems are hot. Well simple as that. Yeah, but Flourish I could be the big problem and Dash could be trying like to give her pep talks again. You know, it could be he, like that side of Hurricane Flourish Art, but not the same lesson. And instead, you see, he needs to have a solid team or something like that. It's just little tweaks. And this episode could have gotten a 10. As it is, it, it gets a 7.5. It does. It really does. It's a really good episode. Um... Other than Applejack and Rainbow piling on the pressure to the point where Pinky and Fluttershy didn't want to play because the pressure was too much, it, that shouldn't be hype piled on them. Like, considering. I just. It just seemed like they had the right idea for a really good episode. And they almost got it right. They just went off the path and, and completely fucked up for a few minutes. And then they were like, yeah, let's... They pretty much, they left out the good ending. But they put in something in replace of it that would made the episode not a ten and a seven and a half. Like I said, you do it a little bit different and it's a ten. And as it is uh, and a half. I mean am I being tough? Maybe but as a reviewer I'm supposed to be reviewing and I am reviewing that Applejack and Rainbow were very good throughout this episode, and I know they're not supposed to be the focus of this episode, but I didn't want... That's okay. They don't have to be the focus of this episode, but you having them pile the pressure on Fluttershy and Pinky makes them more the focus of the episode. If the focus is supposed to be on Pinky and Fluttershy, do not have Rainbow and Applejack pile more pressure on. They can help solve a teamwork conflict of some description, and the and the uh, lesson can be about teamwork, and not about piling too much pressure on a friend. I mean, Hasbro. I mean, we listen. I don't know about everyone else, but I personally don't care that you want to put lessons in for the kids. That they can grow up and they can learn and they can use in their life and better themselves as a person. That's that's all well and good. That's that's actually a really a good thing for you guys to do. But putting in the same lesson, the a, a child watching this will think, "Hang on a second, this is the same lesson they were teaching us in our game Flourishing. I can just go watch that episode again if I want to." Relearn that lesson. So, if you're using the same lesson over and over again, sooner or later, the kids are gonna just say, hang on a second, they're just repeating lessons now. Come up with new lessons, and there won't be so many complaints. I mean, other than that, there's not really any complaints. Um, the Ponyville. Oh, residents, though. They, they had some unique um, attire when they were seeing off Pinky, e, uh, Fluttershy, and Snails, and Co. Um, they were like, in, like, some had pure purple, well, like, I spe especially noticed like, the likes of our, our regular background ponies that, you know, instantly stand out the ones that we actually know the names of, like Derpy, 
he bon bon lyra they had weird face paint like derpy had pure purple then lyra and bon bon they had half and half like half the same color as lyra's coat which almost looked like it wasn't there or i had to look really close to see she was actually wearing it i was like why is only half of her face paint then i noticed when i saw bon bon was wearing half and half i was like oh is Lyra wearing half and half? So, that didn't make any goddamn sense. Also, what was with the weird, like, Dr. Seuss hats? What was that about? Like, <laughs> randomly. Did, did nobody run in any kind of... I mean, it's a good thing Rarity wasn't there. She would have needed her fan couch. She would have just not. She would have just checked out. She would have, like, not done... So it's probably a good thing Snails went instead of Rarity. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that was awesome. Anyway, I am going to end it there. Um, yeah, all in all, pretty decent episode. The next episode is a Q Mark series episode about them and a young griffin looking for their Q Mark. That'll be interesting. Hmm. But I'm hoping this is the episode that they finally have the Kiwi Marcus Ayers use the map. Why haven't they used it yet? Seriously, they pretty much set it up in the earlier episode that they had earlier in the season. Where Tender Taps was introduced. Is where they briefly talked about possibly going to different parts of Equestria to solve Kiwi Mark problems. And for some reason, they didn't, haven't followed up on that. Follow up on it. But I'm praying that's exactly what they're going to do here because that, that would make sense. I mean, we're also... <laughs> we're, I mean, well, we know Peg... Um, not Peg, sorry. Um, we know Griffins don't stay in... In, um... The Griffin Kingdom, because of course, Gilda and other Griffins have ventured out. So, but the Q Mark Crusaders aren't Equestria wide known. They aren't famous like the main six would be. So unless like this, this Griffin has heard about the CMC through, who I, uh, it'd be interesting to see. It will be. Um. Yeah. Just have them use the map. Just have them use the map. But as for this episode, episode 16 gets a set and then a half. Little change, and it could have been a 10. So yeah. Can't wait for next week's episode. So until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy it. Until then, hope you all have a very, very good evening. Peace.